In this video, I'll show you how to um, view your students' recent progress. Um, this is something that you'll do once a week so that you can enter the skills that have been mastered, and mastery is, is reaching a score of 90. Um, you, can, uh, you can record those in your Google spreadsheet each week. Um, the day in which you record those really isn't, you know, it doesn't really matter um, as long as they're recorded each, you know, at the end of each week, um, the, the new skills mastered are recorded. Uh, that's the important thing. So um, go ahead and uh, navigate to the instructor login site at www.ixl.com slash sign in Waukesha. And uh, go ahead and log into your instructor account. And um, just a quick recap, here's the roster button. Here's where you can see your students. Um, and uh, next to the roster button is something called the reports, uh, reports tab. And so we've got uh, accessibility to a lot of reports here. And the, re the reporting and the progress monitoring piece is, is a little um, clunky in IXL. Uh, hopefully it'll get better soon, but um, this is probably the most the quickest way to, to monitor students' progress uh, and will require the least amount of time on your part. So you want to go under performance, and then uh, the under performance you'll have this uh, option for recent skills. And so if we click on recent skills, um, and it defaults right now to all levels and just the five most recent skills. And, um, and so let's just look at what we get with the default. So with this default, what we see is we've got two students who were working on these skills. And, um, and so, you know, if, if we just look at these two students for starters here, it looks like Christian Johnson got to 100, so that's above 90. So you would record in Christian Johnson's portion of the spreadsheet that he mastered JF16. Um, and if we scroll down here, um, it looks as if that's the only one, that's the only score that would be recorded for this time frame. Uh, these scores are actually from last year. Uh, there's just the last five topics that they worked on. Um, so, uh, what you would do to get the weekly progress is you would come up to the top here and instead of showing the five most recent skills, you would do, um, like if you're going to do this on Friday, you could do this week's skills. So that would take you, um, you know, the, through the last couple of days here from the 24th to the current day for me, which is today, Wednesday, the 26th. Uh, so if you did this on a Friday, this would say uh, Monday, the 24th through Friday, the 28th, say. Um, and so if we change the window then and we update the report, we'll see that nobody has done any skills this week, which would be expected since it's still summer. But um, if we do this weekly, then um, uh, then we can enter those skills into the Google spreadsheet um, under the student's name so that we keep that progress monitoring component um, current. Uh, another option would be to do a custom, and this might actually be a little more effective. And then you can go from like Sunday to Saturday and uh, catch the whole week. Um, and this would be particularly useful, especially as you encourage kids to work on these skills uh, outside of uh, AO time uh, in the evenings and the weekends. Um, and if we update the report, again, there are no students, obviously, since they chose a, um, a week during the summer. But, um, you know, I could choose a week earlier here, maybe the week of May 10th. And I might get some skills to populate here. It looks like uh, Alexandra practiced a few skills that week. So, um, and then I would go into the Google spreadsheet and for level J, um, 
skill and nine, I would put that she had completed that with a score of 100.